Oh, so I fall into the trap when I'm out and about, um, you know, doing plein air sketching, urban sketching, what have you, of wanting to have every single blooming uh, art supply in the world with me, just in case I see a view and it immediately says to me, oh, you should do it in this medium. I don't have that medium with me and have, and it's the end of the world, or at least that's what my that's what my brain tells me beforehand. What actually really happens is that I mostly go out with every single art supply in the world and use the same four over and over again because it's what I'm comfortable with. And honestly, out in the field is probably not the place to be pushing myself for experimentation with regards to mediums. It's it's probably not going to end up in me having anything I'm satisfied with. Uh, so. This, this caused an especial problem the other day when I was out on a sketch walk and uh, sat down to draw a picture and I knew exactly what pen I wanted, I knew it was in here, but it was just, ugh, it's just like an absolute mass of things that I sort of had to pull out and look at sideways before I finally found the top of it. Like there's a ridiculous amount of stuff in here. Yeah, there's just so much stuff in here. Like, how much of this do I actually really need um, on a given um, plain air session? Like, really, I know full well that a restriction of materials, a restriction of options, makes me more creative than that having every single option in the world it just leads to paralysis. So I really need to rationalise um, what I've got here. <laughs> uh, but also... I'm, I'm just really not loving this whole sideways pencil case thing where you have to dig in and, you know, pull everything out and, and, and tip it up to see and find what you want. And I've been seeing on Instagram um, those funky pencil cases which kind of telescope, so they slide down. Um, so all of your pens are upwards facing towards the zip. It's got a flat base to sit on and then you slide down the outside. Uh, in order to get to the pen. So I thought if I just made myself a bunch of those and then conceptually split up the various things into into categories um, and then only took out a particular category on a particular day, then that would actually, A, it would mean I was carrying around less and B, it would make it easier to access that which I am carrying around. And uh, yeah, as I am a complete hoarder, I have a whole bunch of fabric. So I feel like I've already got all the material that I need to make myself some sliding pencil cases. All I need is the zips and, uh, and I'm ready to go.
jobs are good. There we go. And uh, just like that, four slider pencil cases. And I am so very pleased. Uh, why do I need four pencil cases when everything else fit in one before? Um, well, actually, everything else fit in two. One of these is replacing uh, a different pencil case, but I thought, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Um, so what have I got? Uh, so this is one full of what I would call the basics, which is pretty much anything for making a reasonably permanent line in sort of a monochrome neutral colour. So I've got my sepia and my black mostly permanent uh, ink pens or fine liners in there. So line tools. Uh, this one right here, this one is full of watercolour stuff. So that's brushes uh, and brush pens and then watercolour uh, pencils as well, coloured pencils. So that's for when I'm going out with my watercolour kit or my gouache kit. Uh, all of the bits and bobs are in there. In this one is regular coloured pencils, um, which I don't actually use that often, but uh, it's maybe nice when doing a, something that's a bit more drawing rather than painting-esque. Um, and in this one I've got my various markers, so uh, Posca markers for paint, um, uh, sort of like, yeah, they're acrylic paint markers, my uh, bright ink brush pens and my uh, uh, monochrome uh, Tombos. So that's again for when I'm doing a bit of drawing, but of a different type of drawing for this. So I'll probably always take out my basics um, kit, you know, just because that's where it's where the pencil is and it's where the uh, the ruler and the rubber and uh, and yeah, the very basics are. Um, this, this one will probably only come out with me, well, will only come out with me when I'm doing water or colour or gouache. Uh, this one is probably going to come out with me when I'm doing stuff on toned paper. And I'm not sure when this one's going to come out with me. I feel like this, this these sorts of uh, pens are my, are my least used set. But I know that previous to this, I've been carrying the contents of all four of these with me in my plain air kit, which I often carry for 10 miles on my back. And while it's very light at mile one, it's somewhat heavier feeling at mile 10. So um, this is just a way to let me rationalize things a bit more. I start, I'll start out on the, uh, the, well, I'll start out at the house being like, okay, today's, today's a drawing day. So you and you, Come with me. Uh, or otherwise, uh, maybe it's a watercolour day and you can come along and maybe I'm feeling a little bit different and I'll bring you guys instead. So, yeah, I'll probably, yeah, just, just be able to pick out one or two of these uh, on any given excursion and the same with the paints, notebooks and, and other bits. Instead of having everything in the bag just in case, I'll make my decision on what medium I'm going to explore that day on on the day rather than packing for every eventuality. So yeah, I guess there's nothing more than that to say other than have a smashing day. <laughs>